On this special episode of What's Going On With Shipping, we provide more context to the situation between the USS Momsen and Harper's Ferry in San Diego Harbor on November 29th. Hi, I'm your host, Sal McCogliano. Welcome to this episode. So I've gotten a lot of great feedback from the subscribers at What's Going On With Shipping. I've also found out some information from some other sources. And most importantly, the crew over at San Diego Webcam has posted a larger, more comprehensive video that shows the events leading up to the situation between Momsen inbound into San Diego and Harper's Ferry outbound in San Diego. So I want to go right to that video. I want to show it to you. But be sure, head on over to San Diego Webcam on YouTube, on Facebook, on Twitter, and go ahead and subscribe to them. Help them out. They are 100% kind of run by volunteers, by groups. They get their support from their subscriptions, from their fans. So go over there and head over there. They have great videos. They capture ships coming in and out of San Diego all the time, getting a lot of attention for this video. But obviously, you can catch warships of the Pacific Fleet coming in and out of San Diego on a daily basis. I love what they put out. I enjoy it immensely. Go over there and subscribe to them. And if you want, subscribe to me. I mean, you can do it. But more importantly, go over to them. All right, let's go to this video they posted because it's great. Now, I'm not going to go through the whole video. It's a long video, but it's a really good one. I, I really strongly recommend you head over and uh, watch it. It's really good. This is the image of Harper's Ferry, the very first view you have of Harper's Ferry on the way out. And I'm going to have the audio going here in the background. But just remember, the audio is not synced with this video. So it's off. So one of the big things, again, we're talking about context, what's going on this day. The big image going on in San Diego that day was the arrival of USS Tripoli coming back from a deployment. So its arrival was really the centerpiece of the day. Now, I mentioned something about pilots on board. Now, the Harper's Ferry and Momsen should not have been surprised. The pilots that handled those ships would have known who was going in, who was going out. There's a daily schedule that's released on this. And so you would have seen this schedule being put out there. So there's no reason for surprise, but the, the context video that San Diego webcam comes out does show a couple of key things of Tripoli and Harper's Ferry passing each other. And you see them coming out here. Here's the Tripoli and the Harper's Ferry. Now, where this is, this view is taken. So this camera image is here from the south end of the point, looking this way. And where you can tell these vessels are is by these water tanks, or not water tanks, excuse me, these fuel tanks. You'll see three fuel tanks lined up right here, and then a smaller one right here. You can see this hangar right here, and you go back over here to the image. There are those three tanks. There's that hangar right there. And so they are obviously right over in this area up here because you see them passing right here. So they're passing these buoys at this time. Come back over here to the image and you can see them. So Harper's Ferry is on the outbound side, the north side of the channel right there. Tripoli is on the inbound side. Now, Momsen is following in behind Tripoli. Now, Momsen is not a ship that's based in San Diego. This is a key point that was brought up to me is how familiar they are with this channel. They're based in Everett, Washington. They've been home ported in Pearl Harbor for a while. I'm not sure how often they've been in and out of San Diego, but we know it's not their home base. All right, I'm gonna let this run here for a little bit here. There we go. Get this going. So you can see again, them coming in this passing, which I think is a key element that we have not seen prior to this. So one of the reasons I, I do love San Diego webcam is they'll do these things. This great shot here of uh, Tripoli with San Diego in the background. Uh, just a great shot. I'm going to come over here to this matrix view. Uh, this view is really good because one of the things I want to show you is the image up here in the upper right corner. So upper right corner. This is Momsen inbound at the time. Here's Harper's Ferry outbound. Now, again, we talked about context. We didn't have the context of what was happening beforehand. So this is the ammo pier here, and what am I talking about? So right here, this is the ammo pier. You can see uh, Harper's Ferry is coming out. Now, did find out that there was a flood tide coming in, so water is coming into San Diego Bay, but not a lot, about 0.7 knots. And this is one of the reasons why ships don't like to hug the outbound side, the green side of the channel, because you're going to get pushed. And so ships tend to want to hug the, the, the inbound side, the, the red side of that channel. Remember, these markers right here are red. 
along the right side and green on the left side coming in. You can see Momsen inbound. There's another uh, Burke class destroyer, number 90, was up there at the dock going in. So we're going to come ahead here. So this is the image we did not see. So the image we saw in the previous video was them kind of nose to nose. What we did not see, and I'm going to pause this right here, and I'm actually going to go to a full screen here for you. Even though I'm blocking part of Momsen in this picture, it doesn't really matter. Notice, here's the red buoy, here's the green buoy. So we're, this is the, uh, the, the, the width of the channel. Obviously, Harper's Ferry is a little bit off-center of the channel, but so is Momsen. That's the other key thing here, is that Momsen is a little bit off-center of the channel. Coming in, so this is the area we're kind of looking at right here, this tight area turn. So you're going to see uh, Harper's Ferry beginning to make her turn here while Momsen is also making her turn. So Harper's Ferry is coming this way in and she's going to start making a turn. So as I stated in yesterday's video, one of the problems was we didn't know what happened before the images we saw in that very brief video. This larger video put up by the San Diego webcam is much more instructive. So I noticed two things right now that's different from the previous video. Number one, Harper's Ferry starts making her turn early. She is hugging that red buoy and she begins a turn early. You see her turning into Momsen right now. Second, notice the tug departing from Momsen. So I had a question about why Momsen wasn't starting her turn sooner. Same time as the tug leaves, you see the pilot flag come up on the halyard. That tells me that the pilot has just boarded Momsen, and Momsen was holding course while the tug was alongside. So now you have the pilot on board, and now you see the flags, the halyards on the starboard, uh, uh, on the starboard halyard, and Momsen begins her swing just as the tug is departing. The problem is Harper's Ferry is turning in too tight at this point. So Momsen begins her swing to starboard. We see. Harper's Ferry begin her swing to port, and this is where you wind up in this meeting situation. There seems to be blame on both sides here. Harper's Ferry turning in too early, and Momsen turning too late. Now, I have a question about why the pilot boarded where he or she did. Normally, I would assume the pilot would board further out, but it's a busy day in San Diego. And again, these are Navy docking pilots. These are not San Diego Bay pilots. So the question is, was that bay pilot just getting off docking a vessel and then coming out and this is the earliest he could have met or she could have met Momsen? And now what you have is the situation we saw in the video from yesterday, the Momsen and Harper's Ferry head to head, bow to bow, and now they have to decide what to do. And this is where the rules of the road comes in. And I, I apologize. I used Culregs as my example for how to handle this situation. Technically, when you're within U.S. territorial waters, you operate under Coast Guard rules of the road. But suffice it to say, Culregs and rules of the road share the same characteristics when it comes to a head-to-head -head meeting. Both vessels should pass port to port unless they decide another meeting. And that's what happens here. The other good thing I will say that Momsen does here is does not stop or does not decide to back down her engines. Instead, what Momsen decides to do is use her speed and maneuverability to give it a kick and get out of the way of Harper's Ferry. It is much easier for this vessel to continue going forward and turn left to get out of the way of Harper's Ferry. And that's what you see happening there. Momsen is the most maneuverable. Unfortunately, what also happens here is Harper's Ferry continues her turn to evade the Momsen. And you have the potential here with both sterns swinging out. Remember, ships don't pivot like a car. When you turn the front wheels of your car, you turn the front of your car. When you turn the wheel on a vessel, you kick the stern out. And so about a third of the way back from the bow is the turning point. And if you turn too hard, you can basically run the sterns into each other. And what you see is Momsen catches her turn, she stops her swing, and straightens out. Harper's Ferry, in the meantime, also begins to straighten out. But then Harper's Ferry is going to do something very strange, which I haven't figured out why they did it. So you'll notice in the video right now, you can see the red buoy. Let's see here. There's a red buoy right here. You can see that red buoy. And then there's another one coming in right here at the very bottom of the screen. And Harper's Ferry is going to head out of the channel at this point. She cannot seem to get back into the channel, has to make a decision. She should be applying right rudder at this time to get herself back 
into the channel, but instead she's going to careen out of the channel. Now, fortunately, there's deep water on that side outside the channel. This is the channel between, uh, excuse me, this is the area between the channel and the ammo facility on uh, North Island. You can see Momsen's beginning her swing back to the right now. She's going to straighten back out. You can see the green buoy up here. She's trying to stay within this channel. I should also note again, the current plays a part here. The current is coming this way into San Diego Bay and looping around. About a half to maybe about three quarter current coming in at this time. And so that is pushing. And that's why Harper's Ferry probably began her turn a little bit earlier because she didn't want to get broadside to the current and get pushed out. The problem is it looks like it overcompensated. Here's the other green buoy here. So you've got two green buoys here. Uh, we're, we're looking at two green buoys here. The other green buoy is on the other side of Momsen. So Momsen comes close to getting out of the channel, but again, Momsen is much more maneuverable, able to hook it hard right and get back into the channel so it doesn't careen out, whereas Harper's Ferry here is out of the channel at this point. Fortunately, this is San Diego, so that they can do that. If this was Norfolk, for example, the Harper's Ferry would have been aground at this point. You get out of that channel of Norfolk, there's all mud, there's not a lot of water there, and it could have been a really bad situation. Again, not sure why Harper's Ferry is making such a hard turn at that point. Obviously, the commanding officers of the vessel are responding to this issue as quickly as they can. Momsen is coming back in. You can start to see the green buoy coming out over here. And so Momsen is staying in, whereas Harper's Ferry is outside the channel. And if we go here a little bit further, because this video goes on for a bit here, I'm going to show you. there. There's Momsen coming right here. There we go. Right past the ammo facility where another Burke destroyer is. So a lot to take apart in this video. And again, I go back to this issue that both vessels seem to have a fault here. One is the question about the pilot coming on, when the pilot came on board, the Momsen. Did Momsen have to hold course for the pilot, which forced the Momsen to continue in the channel toward the center more and not begin her right turn earlier? And Harper's Ferry making her left turn coming out of the channel seemed to start it a little bit earlier than necessary. So again, I want to thank the crew over at um, San Diego Webcam for posting this. They even uh, uh, tagged me on the video. I wanted to get this out quick, so d uh, this is a down and dirty video. Not a lot of editing in here. I'm just going to post it real quick to get it out there so as to avoid any issues regarding the ships and what has been said out there and to update my previous video. All right, that's it for sale. Talk to you soon. Bye.